I'm being honest as well, I didn't think it as well, but you had to have been in the arena to listen to the to the reception, Joe, but I, it, was, it kind of like, I was like, I was, I was take, a bit taken back by it all, like, it was unbelievable, me and Adam was like, oh my life, this is, this is amazing, and it, and it, and uh, it was it was just a great energy in there. Joe got um, Joe got a lot of support in there, and as I say, I'm really really grateful to to, to the fans to support him because it, it does give you that that bit of extra bit of extra of a push. And just a word on the stoppage as well. When you watch it back on on the highlights, literally it was a brilliant stoppage from Steve Brown. I don't understand. Listen, Umar, I'm I'm honest about about. It's like I had Joe losing the fight. I had Joe down going into the sixth round. I had Joe three two down on the scores. Um, if you really want to be harsh, you could have even been four one to 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 to, to Takam. You don't. I had it three two to be honest with you. I had Joe taking the opening round just by off the jab. Um, I had Takam the second, Joe the third, uh, Takam the fourth and uh, uh, fifth. I think I think um, yeah. So I, I can't I can't remember. How, I had Takam three. I remember saying to, to, to Adam. 3-2 tack, I'm going into the sixth. And Steve Braun, I'm, I'm told, just told Joe what he did. He told Joe to just get him out of there. Those are the words of Sam Jones. Sam Jones, of course, is the manager of Joe Joyce, and he admits that Joe Joyce was losing the fight up until the stoppage, and his corner told Joe Joyce to get in there and make something happen like he did with Daniel Dubois, and he did exactly that. Convincing the referee to stop the fight. Now, let me counter punch. Um, I appreciate the honesty of Sam Jones. I mean, um, a lot of people thought, just like Derek Chisora, thought that Joe Joyce was losing every round. He wasn't the aggressor. He wasn't winning. He wasn't landing the harder shots at that point up until the sixth round. And it leads me to, just like I've been telling people, you have to give the person that's up on the scorecards or the person that's, that's winning the duration of the rounds the benefit of the doubt. You just don't stop a fight just because the fighter gets in trouble. Now, I do understand that, yes, uh, Carlos Takam was taking shots. He was. He was taking shots. To the point that he wasn't answering back and you do have to answer those shots back. I get that. But if you look at it like I told you overall, I don't think that it was a right time to stop that fight. Based on what happened throughout that fight. Okay, that's a big difference. And I keep telling people the same thing. People tell me, oh, well, he had these type of unanswered punches. Look, he got stumbled twice with two different shots. Okay. Uh, one in the beginning of the ring, and then um, that made him buckle back. But then another one made him buckle back also. But there was nothing that we could go on because the fight was stopped too early. It was too premature. We don't know what Carlos Takam could have produced had he countered or whatever. Okay, you have to anticipate what the person's going to do. And it wasn't enough time to show what was going to happen based on that fact. This fight is like the junior version of Julio Cesar Chavez versus Mildred Taylor one. Okay, because Mildred Taylor was beating uh, Julio Cesar Chavez a lot more convincingly, but Carlos Takam was winning the fight. Joe Joyce is tough. Joe Joyce took a lot of right hands. I look back at the highlights and I seen that fight Carlos Takam was getting in the shots. And I don't want to be a conspiracist, but you have to understand there's politics in the sport of boxing. Okay, you can't be delusional and think that there isn't. Joe Joyce was losing. That fight could have been an upset. Joe Joyce came with the thunder. He hurt... Carlos Takam, he did. He was landing punches on Carlos Takam. But that was the only time he did that. Okay, that was the only time that he had a breakthrough within Carlos Takam. Now, I know, I know the history of the referee. I know that he was ridiculed before for allowing the fight to go longer, but you have to understand something. 
these fighters know what they're up against when they step into the ring. Carlos Takam, I don't feel that he was to the point where he went down. He was to the point where he uh, was looked like he was going down. Did he take a knee? He didn't do any of those things. Now, I think this is what I feel. I think the referee should have conveyed the info to Carlos Takam. Hey, if you get in trouble, take a knee. Because if you take a knee, that will allow me to count you and give you time to recuperate versus getting hit too many times at one point and then I'm going to call the fight. I don't think that was done. I think the referee made a tactless decision at that point of time, premature. Maybe it was based on how he was ridiculed before, but you have to look at whatever the fight was that he allowed that fighter to go on along with to go longer, he had his reasons, okay? And I think that same element should have applied. Now, back to Sam Jones. The question I asked myself, it was, a, it was an honest assessment. Yes, Joe Joyce was losing. A lot of people, of course, he ain't the only one that thought that Joe Joyce was losing that fight, okay? But the question I, ha I do ask and I wonder in my head, would you have done or said this if it would have went <laughs> the duration of the fight. You know what I mean? That's the number one question because I know he's the manager or whatnot and everything is hindsight at 2020 because he won. You know what I mean? People get honest after they get the, a, a positive result on what they desire to happen, happen. The fight was stopped. TKO for Joe Joyce. Would Sam Jones have done the, and said the same thing if the fight would have went a totally different way? If it would have went to a decision. That's the question I have for Sam Jones. But um, it is surprising to hear him say that Joe Joyce was losing three out of two or four out of one. You guys tell me what you think of Sam Jones comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.